Melvin Ryovich, you made a strong case for him. You said this is not much like Makwe. This is not Sobolo, it's Milo, and that's what we have. We have to drink. Obviously, he gave us a poor showing. Would you recommend a sack? Okay, so let me let me say this. I I I said that Coach Milovan has been the best trainer ever. Ghana has ever had. When we speak about expatriate coaches, because in 2009 there was a tenker advisor for the U20 that won the mondial in Egypt. He went to the Chan Grand Finale. In 2010, he went to the AFCON Grand Finale. He was a losing finalist. Mm. And he took Ghana to the quarterfinals of the World Cup. And based on that, he holds the best record of any expatriate whatsoever. And based on that, Ghana hired him. Mm. I think people speak about uh, the fact that beyond Ghana, he didn't achieve. Uh, that is true. Um, but it's also very true of many, many, many top, top coaches uh, across the world. They go through some challenges, they don't win trophies, they go to certain traditions where the intangible assets are different in quality and, and, they, and they win. So we, we believed and we believe in uh, Milovan. Uh, it's also true that Milovan has had an unfortunate time with our Black Stars. Unfortunate in the sense that he's never had even four days uninterrupted to train the squad mm. since he took over the, the ship. Okay, uh, most often he's had to train this team two days and go into competition, and this is a fact. Okay, we we believe that the Afcon platform will give all of us the needed space to train the, the squad. But what happened? FIFA gave a directive the players. Uh, could stay with their clubs up to the 3rd and 4th of January. The competition started on the 9th of January. Again, not more than four days of uninterrupted full house training. Let's be fair. I mean, and this is a squad made up of predominantly new players, 17 debutants. Mm. I mean, I'm not making excuses for... So, so, uh, what, so what's the bottom line, Kent? What's the bottom line? Well, well, Ghanaians, because, sorry, because Ghanaians, are, because Ghanaians because are asking, what's the sorry, bottom line? What's the bottom line? Is Milo going to stay or will he be stacked? Right, okay, so if I heard you clearly, um, we just arrived, it is done. We've not engaged as an ESCO. We've not engaged key stakeholders. But it's important that we all have cool heads and, and go through the process and take the right decisions for Ghana football. And we believe that we have the men to take that decisions or those decisions that will eventually bring Ghana back to the 